Hey investor, what's up? Now, whenever you plan to buy a property as an investment, it is so important to do several checks. For example, you have to check the walls, the windows, the window frames, the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room. Now we can be talking about this and I can show you some pictures of the things that I'm talking about, but I think it's just easier for you and me to check out the properties that I just purchased just the other day. Well, before I purchased it, of course, because I still had to sign it with a notary public office. But I brought my camera and my cameraman along with me. So if you're interested, let's go check it out. You know, just you and me, you know? So I'll just show you what I'm doing before buying an investment property. And if you stay until the end, of course, I'm even sharing my best tip to think and check before buying that actual property. Let's go into the video for now. Now, the moment you go to a property, I always say start in the attic at least the most upper floor. Now, I can see you thinking, why? Well, that's actually very simple because then you can always take a look around, you know, at the ceiling and the roof to see if there's anything the matter. If there is a boiler or any central heater system, in most cases in the Netherlands, you always see them in the attic. That's also the moment for you to check out if there's anything wrong with the central heater system. My job as a property owner is to take care of everything that should be working in this property and have a good energy label for this home. Meaning, you know, if you have a good energy label, the tenants, you know, don't have to fire up their heater every winter again. Well, they will, but it doesn't have to be that high because all the insulation takes care of the heat inside. Therefore, for example, like windows, you have to replace the single layer windows with double glazed insulated windows. You know, that will all increase the value of the home as well. That's why it's so important to take good care of the property, but also take good care of the tenants who live in your property. Now, once you've checked out the attic, I would always recommend to go to the bathroom because that's the place where most people well, not most people, everyone needs to go to relax, enjoy, but mainly freshen up. Now, this room actually has a lot of elements. For example, like water plays a role. Uh, there's a heater, of course, and there's also ventilation necessary in this room. Now, in the Netherlands, it is always recommended to tile the whole room, you know, the floor, but also the walls, and also have a waterproof ceiling. This is so important because you gotta see it like this. Take a look at the apartment here. Now in this apartment, the bathroom is just a small room and we only have a sink and a shower cabinet. Now in this bathroom, yeah, if you take a look at it, it's not the super fanciest thing, but it is still fine. It will need a renovation in the near future. Now, when we talk about renovation, it's always important to choose solid tiles. Choose a color to distinct the floor from the walls. And as for toilets, I would recommend a hanging toilet over a standing, you know, a toilet that stands on the floor because it just looks more fancy and more modern. You know, and, and, and if we just take a look at the sink, for example, even the sink will give a more modern style look and gives a good feeling to people as well the moment they use it. Now, mainly choose something that works well you know, something solid and, and, and robust instead of something just fancy that might just break very soon since you're gonna use it every day. Now, if you take a look at the shower, for example, the drain, you gotta choose something that is easily cleanable and, you know, good of use and good strong material instead of you choosing those fancy drains that you see very often that have all kinds of loose elements and connections and rubbers and the moment it breaks, a tenant might not even know of it and even not replace it. The only thing that they will say to you like, hey, Mr. Owner, uh, it's clogged again. You gotta unclog it, you know? which is very annoying. This is why it's so important to choose a solid drain system that is easy to open, easy to unclog, and there you have it, you know? Then you can just unclog your whole shower. Now, when we take a look at the living room and the kitchen, the most important thing here is to be sure that the kitchen has all the equipment a kitchen needs, like for example, a fridge, but also a cooking station. But there are all kinds of things like extras, like an oven or a microwave or a dishwasher. Heck, you know, that could even be a washing machine for your clothing. Now, I'll tell you this, all these machinery should be either there and work properly, or it should not be there and then give the tenant the choice to purchase all these equipments to their own likings. Now, the moment you actually give the tenant the option and the chance to buy, you know, equipment like that, they will be far more careful with the equipment because, you know, it's, it's their stuff instead of 
the rental stuff that they just used because you placed it there. Now, I prefer to leave my homes empty and not fully furnished. Now, the idea is that people will come and they will move into the homes and they want to make the homes, you know, they want to make it into a home for themselves. This is why walls will have a neutral look and the floors will have a neutral floor as well. Whereas, you know, tenants can actually choose and wish to color the walls or change the floors and put a new laminated floor. Now, what I ask of them is the moment they do move out, because most tenants stay quite a long while, but the moment they do move out, it is very important for them to leave it in the state that they, you know, actually got into it. So the moment the you know, the moment the floor has a gray laminated floor, my question to them is, you know, it's okay to have a brown floor now because you changed it, but it should be, you know, somewhat like the original. Now, most people, actually, the moment they move out, they will leave in their old floors that they've used themselves. So sometimes it changed from gray to brown. Is it a problem? Not to me, because in most cases, people will choose you know, to change the floors anyway. Now, when we take a look at the garden, whenever you purchase a home that has a garden, make sure that the people can be flexible with it. Like the moment, you know, you don't really have to have a flower garden ready for people to move in because not everybody likes that. And But it doesn't have to be a whole block of concrete, you know, doesn't have to be like that as well. You have to give your tenants the freedom to alter the garden to their own likings. Your task as a homeowner is to give people enough privacy in their own garden so that they know and you know that they can use the garden and access it and, and enjoy and relax in their own garden. There could be, now in this, now, now in this case, there is a lot of weed and not the weed that you can smoke, of course, <laughs> but, but the plants that you, know, you don't want in your garden, when you have that before tenants actually move in, you can actually clean up your garden first. That is a good advice to do so, because the moment people take a look in your home, they, the moment they take a look around in the home that they want to rent maybe, it's a lot easier to have a nice clean home, have a nice clean garden. And it just takes you a little bit of time and in that case people will be far more enjoying the home like thinking Ooh, this is something that I would like to live in now The last thing that you should absolutely check as a homeowner is the exterior of the building Now no matter if it's an apartment or a detached home It is always important to look around your home. Are there any cracks in the walls on the window frame still good on the outside? Is the paint still good or does it need a paint job? Or how about the roof? Like, is it still waterproof? Are there any tiles missing? And for example, sometimes there are solar panels on top of the roof. How's the condition? You know, what's the condition of those solar panels? Now, the moment you have all those, you know, the, the moment you have the roof, how about the drainage system for the water? You know, is it still good? Are the pipes still in good condition? Now, what you can see on the outside is also around, you know, you, you can just take a look around by walking around using a ladder to inspect the actual building but you can also use a drone now in this case I do have a drone so I just fly by the building and check out like how's the property actually on the outside but not only that also take a look around in the surroundings you know you're buying a property you're buying a home but the thing is is there for example like a playground is there like a little park in the neighborhood how's how are the roads how's the infrastructure because in the end, you're not only buying a home, you're actually buying a place for a family to live in. And this is why having a, you know, a neighborhood where the home is located in, very important as well. And since you stayed until the end of this video, let me give you one more tip as a check, you know, as a property owner, because you gotta always ring some doorbells, talk to the neighbors, tell them that you're gonna get a new tenant in your home that you'll be offering to the market. Now, are the neighbors actually homeowners themselves or are they also renting a home by themselves, you know, in, in that same apartment or in the same neighborhood? By getting to know your neighbors of your home, you might even understand what kind of social control there already is in that neighborhood. Now, I don't know about your country, but here in the Netherlands, it's very, very common to have something like a WhatsApp group. Now, we have a WhatsApp group with the neighbors as well. The moment something out of the ordinary happens in the neighborhood, Hey, who knows somebody else have seen it in your neighborhood that happened just there. This is why having social control with your neighbors is always good because you know, you do have a, you do keep an eye on each other. Now it's not that you're being tracked by all the neighbors all the time, of course, but hey, having a little bit of social control will give you a good feeling you know, of your own neighborhood because it's going to be your neighborhood. 
And with that, I would like to thank you for watching this video today. Happy investing. See you next time. Bye-bye.